Algebra 1, Lesson 64, Domain and the Additive Property of Inequality. Uh, this means we're going to be doing number lines. So domain, um, more or less, is a, it's like a limit. Or if you think of the word domain, it's like a dome. It pretty much tells you what you can and can't do. Domain is going to be in relation to number sets or inequalities. Uh, inequalities with number sets attached to them. Uh, the main domain, domains that we'll see are uh, ones like this. They'll either give you specific numbers or they'll give you a group of, uh, of the real number groups that we've, we've been learning. So we'll take um, this example. They tell us to graph x is greater than 2 with a domain of real numbers or reals. <clears throat> now the funny thing about the domain of reals is it's not much of a bubble because real numbers is like every number. So we'll just go ahead and we'll graph this. We go to 2 on the number line. X is not equal to 2. So we'll put an open circle. And then greater than means I'm going to the right. And I'm going to just draw a straight line because real numbers includes every single number on the number line. It includes 3, includes 4, and includes all the fractions and decimals in between 3 and 4 and going on into infinity. So that one's not too hard. Uh, real numbers are really is a really easy domain because you get to draw straight lines like you have been doing. Now let's say we have to graph. Um, we'll do the same one. Let's say if we did x is greater than two, but our domain, which is represented by this d, is equal to the subset of integers. Now, if we remember integers, that's only positive and negative whole numbers. So I'll go ahead and I'll draw the number line. All right, that's zero. I'm going to start at two. Now, can x be equal to two? No. So in this case, I'm not even going to put an open circle at two. Right? Uh, and the reason why is because there's no line attached to it. Now, if I continue this number line, three, four, five, uh, et cetera, Since uh, the domain says that it has to be integers, that means I can't draw a straight arrow like I have in the past. I can only include the number 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a closed dot at 3. And I'll put a closed dot at 4. And I'll put a closed dot at 5. And that's why I don't need an open dot at 2. Because if you remember, the open dot at 2 is saying that it does not include the number 2, but it does include 2.1 or 2.0001 or 2.5, right? So that's why we put the open dot at 2. However, if I'm only dealing with integers, I don't need an open dot at 2. I just need solid dots at 3, 4, 5, and then an arrow extending to the right saying that that pattern continues. So that's how we graph integers. Um, and they can put other domains on, on your number set. Like uh, here we see positive integers, and or sometimes they may say negative integers. And when we get that domain, we just represent it by putting dots, or closed dots. Now. Let's talk about the additive property of inequality. So all this property says is that if we have two numbers, like 4 is greater than 1, right? And let's say we added 3 to each of these. The question is, which answer will be greater, this side or that side? The left side will still be greater. Um, so the additive property just states that if you add equals to each side of an inequality, the inequality will still remain same, will remain the same in the same direction. So the sign will not change. Uh, what that tells us is that we can now graph things like this. Uh, let's graph this, and then the domain they give us is real numbers or reals. Uh, now, the problem is, how do I find out where x plus 2 is on the number line? I, I can't. So I'm going to use this property, and I'm going to subtract uh, 2 from each side, kind of like an equation. So it's very similar to an equation. If I subtract 2 from each side, then I get x is less than negative 2. And then I can go ahead and I can graph this. So I'll go to 0, I go to negative 2, x is not equal to negative 2, so I put an open circle, 
and my domain is reels, which means I can put a solid arrow going to the left. Uh, and that's how I graph that. So using that property, you can just add or subtract the same value to each side, and the sign will not change. That's, that's all that says. Um, and then the same thing goes for inequalities. Uh, let's say I had, um, let's do this one, x minus 5 is not less than 0. Domain is going to be integers. So now we're combining a couple of things here. We're combining domain along with um, the additive rule. So, and then it's also an inequality. So first thing, I need to rewrite this inequality as an equality, uh, or this negated inequality as just a normal inequality. So if it's not less than, that means the other options based on the trichotomy axiom are it can be greater than or it can be equal to. Right? So I can say x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. Uh, and then I add 5 to each side. That cancels, and I get x is greater than or equal to positive 5. Now the graph I have to uh, hold on to is integers. So I'll go ahead and I'll draw my number line. I start at positive 5. Uh, now since x can be equal to 5, I'll go ahead and put a dot at 5. Then I'll put 6, 7, and I only need three numbers to show the pattern. So I'll put a solid dot at 6, a solid dot at 7, and then an arrow to show that it continues. That's it for this lesson. If you have any questions, let me know on Moodle, and I will see you in class.